everything was pretty frosted over and it's still pretty chilly this morning. I think fall's coming. <laughs> um, you know, it's kind of a little unnerving, the fact that it hasn't really quite warmed up yet. Um, and it's after 10 a.m. It's just a little like, Ooh. it's okay. Just gonna have to race the snow to Canada again. I don't have children, so I always say that my much younger siblings are kind of like, you know, having having kids in a way. And uh, so I was really happy for Dakota to come out here and join. And it's been pretty neat to see some of the changes in him since he started even uh, just a few days ago. Um, you know, at first it was kind of like, huh, I don't know what I need to do for like a food supply. I don't know exactly how much I should carry and this and that. And you know, over the last few days, he's like, man, when I get to town, I'm gonna get this and this and this for my next resupply. And then also like at first he was kind of sticking close by. And um, now it's like, he'll go ahead off on his own for a while. And um, you know, just seeing somebody get more and more comfortable and this start to feel like normal to them uh, is just really cool. His face is gonna be burnt. And you know they say that hiking can make you you know more philosophical and makes you think a little deeper and so one of the profound observations that he's already made while he's been out here, and my favorite one, is that ancient peoples must have had calluses in their butt cracks. <laughs> look at that. Would you just look at it? Would you look at that? <laughs> look at this, just look, look at, at that, it. look at this, look at that. Have you ever in your life had your feet so close to the table? So to burn my gingies? Yeah. <laughs> He had some toe socks like I do, and he put them by the fire to dry them, and they melted. Oh. And so it was like a hard place in the sock. And I think that was, was that, that was your only pair, right? You only had the one pair. And I was just like, here, wear mine. He's like, I can't fit yours. And I'm like, yeah, you can. It's cool how we've kind of gotten to plains and rocks again. It doesn't feel like the desert though. There's not sagebrush everywhere. Are y'all playing tag? <laughs> go, 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 go. I think I can tell which one's the boy. It's breathing so hard. Shh. Shh. Golly. Dakota's like, catch some fish, catch some fish. I've never seen Dakota so interested in somebody catching some fish. He's hungry. Kyle brought his Tinkara rod for the Wind River Range section, just cause he remembered that, you know, he had caught a decent amount of fish through here last year and there was some pretty good fishing. And uh, I think it was more for the fun of it than anything but it's actually turned out to be a good thing because this section has taken us uh, about a day and a half by the time we get to town day and a half to two days longer than we thought so 
we're actually supplementing <laughs> with fish. The last day and a half to two days or so would have made for some slim pickings as far as rations go uh, for our food before we got to town. So anyway, the guys are back at the lake behind me still fishing and I'm gonna go head on to the top of Hat Pass. It's about two to two and a half miles from here or so. And I've got the bag of fish that they were catching last night and it's been real cold at night. So uh, they've stayed cool, you know, through last night and this morning. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my weight by packing, uh, I think I've got like six fish in my pack and then they, whatever they catch, they'll tow it up and we'll clean them and cook them at the top of Hat Pass where supposedly there is cell reception. So I figured we'd kill two birds with one stone and sit up there, have lunch, have some time to uh, check in, you know, with everybody in the real world and uh, also cook these fish and enjoy the view, hopefully. Hopefully there's a good view up there. Going up Hat Pass. Lots of rocks. They don't call it the Rocky Mountains for nothing. Eagle Scout experience coming in handy. Yep. Let's go ahead and throw it in there. Oh, it's hot enough yet. Oh, yeah. We have to do this crossing here and my feet just got dry from being soaked during the crossings yesterday don't normally do this but i'm refusing to cross in my dry finally dry shoes and socks because they were wet when i put them on this morning so i'm crossing barefooted some folks have really tender feet luckily mine are gross and hardy enough to do this <laughs> barefooted all right, so this is the junction where we go 11 miles to Pinedale that way. It is that way, right? Like, do you actually see a trip? I assume so. Okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, how ready are you to be in town? 11. Really? I think we have like 9 or so. I know it's less than 10 miles to the place where we hitch into Pinedale and... Uh, I think it's going to be like a trailhead or campground and we just kind of have to wait for somebody to leave. It's not going to be like the highway, but anyway, it's going to be really nice to get into town. This stretch has taken about a day and a half longer than we had planned for. And I'm also pretty excited for Dakota to have his first hitchhiking experience. It's fine deal we go. It's fine deal we go. Food or shower? Food. Food or shower? Uh, swing pool. It's before 7 a.m. and we have to cross this mess. Oh. Ah! oh God, it's so cold. Somebody's got a little hitch in his giddy up. We have been seeing a lot of day hackers and folks coming in to do a section and stuff like that. So that means we're getting closer and closer to the trailhead. Plus you can tell when it's a pretty manicured trail that, uh, that it's a heavy use area. But with all the folks that we've seen out here, hopefully it won't be too difficult to get a hitch into town. Ah, yes! Beast. Yeah, hey, the train. Noble, noble beast. beast. The hey, darling. <laughs> They're like, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Is it just one or both? And they both are, but this one feels like it's about to rip in half. Oh. But if I just hear a pop, then uh, you may have to carry me. 
I'm mashing the button for the helicopter. My brother's Achilles, actually both of them, but one was a little bit worse than the other, um, started flaring up real bad. He's got tendonitis in both of them. We were hoping that by some miracle in town uh, when we took a zero that it would magically feel better, but alas, it did not. I think uh, he had some pretty good experiences over this last week week and a half, including hitchhiking. He got to hike in the Wind River Range. He got to experience, you know, the thought of hiking in Grizz Country and carrying bear spray. He survived a pretty intense hailstorm, got to harvest some fish on the trail and eat it. I think he had an all around good time and it's something that he's always gonna remember. Kyle will probably um, instead of hiking, be like supporting and, you know, meeting us at towns or road crossings and such as that. I'm really gonna miss the Wind River Range when we get out of here. It's been amazing. It's been so beautiful and all the little lakes and the flowers. And of course, Circuit of the Towers had some difficult terrain, several passes, but I think the Wind River range in general is definitely somewhere you could come and do like a weekend trip and really camp and enjoy it a lot. And I am glad that we've taken it slow through here. I will pay for that later in Idaho and Montana. Um, I'm gonna have to pull some pretty big days to make up for the slow time I've had here. We I mean, have averaged probably about 15 miles a day and Really should have been doing between 20 and 25 probably. But I reckon when you play hard, you gotta work hard. It goes something like that. There's a little bit more bad news. Okay. So we're in Pinedale right now, which is 84 miles from Jackson Hole Airport. Yeah. And the shuttle is like $200. So I'm gonna be hitchhiking to Jackson Hole Airport. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know that. Okay. Oh, that went over okay. Yeah.